Hello everyone and welcome back to PLC Homeschool with Miss Mary Ann. Today I'm going to do an overview of my program called Learn on Your Own First Grade Math. Usually each lesson will consist of about 10 Google Slides. Your student can log on to Google Slides and the slides will pop up and your student should be able to use tools. They'll be able to write on the slides if wanted. If not, they can also just point to the correct answers using their finger. So this is intended for our first graders, also intended for first grade review, also intended for kindergartners who want to get a head start on first grade. These are great slides to use for homeschool as well. Now, my program is intended for students to work on their own, and they will, I will usually have a recording on each slide. They can listen to, this, to the teacher and follow directions as the teacher gives them. So let's go ahead and do an example of a couple of slides. Okay, welcome back students. I would like everyone to count the objects and use your pointer tool or your pointer finger to the number or use your tools to draw a line to match each number and picture. So you can click on the drawing tool if you'd like to, or you can also use your finger to point from the correct picture to the correct number. So you can use your drawing tool or use your finger. Okay. So first I want everyone to go ahead and count the number of birds that you see. After you're done counting the number of birds, I want you to draw a line to match the birds to the correct number. Okay, if you need more time, please stop the recording whenever needed. Let's go ahead and count our birds together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and match. Where's our number eight? And there we go, number eight. Okay, go ahead and count the hands that are in the picture here and match them to the correct number. Okay, once again, if you need any time during our videos, go ahead and press the pause button, okay? Here we go. We're going to go ahead and count the hands together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go ahead and find that number five. It is right there, number five. Last one, go ahead and count your apples and then match them to the correct number. Okay, let's go ahead and count our apples together. One, two, three, and let's match it to our number three. Very good. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next slide. Well done. Let's see what our next slide looks like. There it is, number words. We're going to match the number word to each number. Before you get started, I am going to read each number word to you, and you can repeat after me zero, four, one, five, two, three. I want you to go ahead and try to practice those on your own, starting with zero, and then we will match the number after I give you about 45 seconds to go ahead and try to practice those on your own. Go ahead and get started. Okay, if you need more time to practice your number of words, go ahead and do so by clicking pause on the video. For everyone else, let's go ahead and get started. What I want you to do now is to say the number word, let's do a practice, zero, and then I want you to match it to the number zero. Okay, so go ahead and do the rest of them.
Okay, remember once again to please pause the video if you need extra time. Let's go ahead and read our number words and then match them to the correct number. This one is four. One. Five. Two. Three. Good job. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so that's just an over, just kind of an overview of what the Learn on Your Own first grade math would consist of. Like I said, students are allowed to use the drawing tools if they would like to, or they can use their fingers to point at the correct answers. If you would like more information on my actual so drawing, sorry. Information more on my materials, please email me at plchomeschool14 at gmail.com and I will talk to you soon.